Hello and welcome back to my Mega Man X Let's Play. Last time we beat up Flame Mammoth and grabbed uh, an extra heart container from Chill Penguin stage. Today, we'll be taking that. So there's um, the ideal first three are definitely Chill Penguin, Storm uh, Eagle, and Flame Mammoth. But after that, you, you, you kind of got several great places to go. You can go here, because uh, he's weak to Chill Penguin's weapon. You can go here because that's where the next uh, armor uh, piece in it. If you want to have like all the armor as fast as possible, then you, you should probably go Chill Penguin, Storm Eagle, uh, Flame Mammoth, and then to Stink Chameleon, which is the other guy right there. I wouldn't really recommend you go here yet. These two you can kind of do. You can go there if you want, but like I'd say that Armor and Armadillo is probably the toughest stage in boss out of all of them, just in general. These two are pretty hard, but you know, these can these are your uh, your typical mid to late uh, stages that you know I always go to, like you know between the fifth and the seventh um, boss. But it's definitely between these two for who you want to go to first, in my opinion. And I personally am confident in my skills. If, if you aren't confident in your skills to beat a boss, go here because you actually have a weapon he's weak to. If you aren't, then go here. I mean, if you are, then go here, because that's where you'll get the, the next um, armor upgrade. So, that's where we'll be going to today. It's not where, remember this, it's not where I'd recommend going to uh, for, uh, for a first-time player. I tell you, uh, I'll tell you that, I'll tell you that after I'm done with all of them. I'll tell you my recommended order for that. But for now, we will be going here. Oh, that's cheap. You can kind of snipe under this guy if you barely get him. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna charge up. Charge up a massive shot here. Boom. Uh, jump, jump, jump. You can just you can either snipe him under if you're below him, or you can you know just jump twice, and when he hits him, it'll uh, you know beat him up there. Okay, so here's the first, uh, there's three paths here. You want to go to all three of them eventually. All right, first of all, you're going to want the shotgun ice for this. Um, so you're going to shoot that, and then you can dash off and jump on there. I don't think the shotgun ice is actually required, but uh, it makes it easier. Now, this is, in my opinion, like one of the worst parts of the game, just right here, this specific room. This boss, it, is, it has way too much health, way more health than it needs. You, you can just you can just keep shooting him for what seems like forever, and he will never go down. I don't think he has a specific weakness, and he doesn't have a health bar, so you just, you know, you never know. It just feels like it's never going to end. It's very bad mini-boss, in my opinion, but if this isn't, like, my biggest gripe about the game, you know it's a good game. Yeah, don't charge it up, just because, um, since, I recommend charging up your shots on bosses because, you know, they have the little, in, uh, they have the eye frames, the invincibility frames after you hit them once, but on the on this mini boss, it, you know, he, he doesn't, so, or at least I don't think so, it's just, you fire your regular lemons. Oh, if he grabs you, you slam me in the wall, do a little bit of damage. He doesn't do that much damage with his normal attacks, and he has a very, uh, pretty exploitable pattern, so... It's not too bad, it's just really annoying, like, this is taking way much, yeah, th that took way longer than it needed to, he just overstays his welcome in my opinion, I just don't like him, um, but anyway, this will be our final, actually not our final capsule, but that's not, that's for a later time, uh, this is our final main capsule, this capsule contains a new type of body armor, reduced damage resistance by 50%, yeah, So this is honestly the objective. This is objectively the worst um, body upgrade in the entire game, just because it only, all it does, its only function is uh, decreasing damage by fifty percent. But and you know, it does what you want it to. I can't really ask for anything more. And it was the first game. Okay, so down here, you are not supposed to get. Uh, th you're not supposed to do this part yet. So over in that general area. There is a heart container. The way you get to it 
so you can't even see it by dashing. The way you get to it is normally by beating Launch Octopus, a boss that we have not beaten uh, stage first, and then a bunch of water will appear here. But there is a way to cheese it involving the shotgun ice. And I've pulled it off a few times. I might not be able to do it here without getting a game over. If I get a game over, I'll, I'll uh, stop it. Yeah, it is possible to hit that ledge and wall jump off uh, up there. You do you start, start at the beginning, which is a little annoying, but I'll try it uh, a couple more times. You know what, here, I'll do a cut and um, I'll show you all of my attempts, so. I'll stop the video here, and yeah. All right, we're back again. Okay, just gotta hit the hit. Make sure you get all these, and to make sure you uh, don't hit hit one of them accidentally while you're trying to jump. Okay, gotta get that part from here. There we go. All right, so the shotgun ice. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, here, fully charge it until you go. You're glowing red. I missed it barely. All right, I'll do another cut and I'll hopefully get on that tip. Okay, yeah, I'm on zero lives. This is my this will be my last attempt. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, well, I guess that's the game's way of telling me that I'm not supposed to get that yet, <laughs> which I'm not actually. So we'll just uh, carry on as usual. So this is a strategy you can employ. You can like um, go to Sting Chameleon Sting and then die three times, uh, whether by trying to get the hard capsule or not, and you know go fight your other stage. But we wanted to beat Sting Sting Chameleon today, so I will beat Sting Sting. Can't say words. Sting Chameleon today. Here again, all right. Ball knocks here, nothing, nothing too bad. Just keep dashing. Should be fine. So yeah, I didn't take like I take like one thing of damage from normal enemies now, so it's, that's really good. Just keep dashing through here, honestly. You just dash by. Yeah, the, see, this is why the dash is so good, and you want to go to a chill thing with first every time. You can get through, through pretty much everything just by doing it. Obviously, it might be a little bit overpowered, but whatever. Yeah, this is one of the few other times this comes up. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. I'll just keep going. Alright, we are almost there. Ah, ah, ah. That was unfortunate, but I can keep dashing, hopefully, maybe. Is there a sub tank up there? Well, I think there might. I think it might have just hit me into the place where I couldn't get it, but whatever. Um, I will, I will make sure there's not one when we go uh, back here to claim our heart tank. Anyway, Sting Chameleon, probably the hardest boss, uh, not the hardest boss, the hardest uh, of the eight Mavericks. Yeah, this, these are what these, this, that's what these bosses are. Blah, 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 blah. I can't say words because I'm stupid in front of the camera. Um, that's what these eight bosses are called now. Instead of Robot Masters, they're now called Mavericks. Because they're inflicted with the Maverick virus. But that's getting into the story that we haven't really gotten into much of yet at this point in this series, but alas, uh, alas, that's how I use that word. Anyway, uh, we are going to beat him. Yeah. Yeah, he's just unpredictable all around. He'll turn invisible, and he got this, got these tongue attacks, which I'm almost dead now, and we got, I did, but I didn't start with full health, so I'm not holding it against myself. Um, I do have a bit of a sub tank, but I'm gonna save it for next time. You stay in the corner, can't really hit you with those spike attacks. I think this fight would be a lot easier and a lot more fair if you could hit him while he was invisible. But you cannot. 
these, yeah, those are really annoying. Uh, especially if you're on like one or two dots of health. But, I mean, let's be honest. His weakness is the... I don't know what it's called, but it's, is it the boomerang cutter? Yeah, it's the boomerang cutter. I think it's what it's called. But anyway, we don't have that yet, so we will have to take him down the old-fashioned way. He jumps almost immediately, like before we even get a control of ourselves. Oh gosh. Yeah, you should definitely be able to hit him there. Just in my opinion. If I were to remake this game, I'd make him be able to be hit then. Actually, this game does have a remake. A remake. Uh, pretty obscure. It was on the PlayStation Portable. It's called uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. But, I don't have a PlayStation Portable, so I won't be playing that. Yeah, we're doing much better on this uh, this go around. Oh, there's spikes up there. I didn't know that. Huh. Interesting. I learned something new. But yeah, I guess you can't touch the ceiling. Thought it was safe, but whatever. Yeah, if he's if he's out in the open, definitely shoot him with the blue with the blue shot because uh, that will deal just as much damage as the. I think the official name, I think I've read this somewhere, the official name for the pink shot is the Spiral Crush. It's also sometimes referred to as the Pink Worms, which I think is a better name. But yeah, now he's dead. Dan, Dan, Dan. combination down and dead. But whatever. All right, my friends, that is Sting Chameleon. I will not be going to any other stages at this point because his weapon is kind of stinky. Um, I guess we'll show it. Yeah. It, it looks good right now, but uh, it, like those three shots, they don't really do any damage at all. It's charged. It's tr it, like a lot of uh, weapons in this game. It's regular form is kind of bad. But its charge move, its charge version is very good. Its charge version uh, makes it to where you basically just turn invincible for like 20 seconds. I don't actually know the real time, but anyway, that's Tank Chameleon. Thank you all for watching. My name is Hank Tank Gaming. Today I played Mega Man X. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye, my friends.